Hi, my name is Anne Brady, and I welcome you to a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Listen to learn more about the writing world. After all, the more you learn, the better writer you can become. When you watch sports on TV or at live events, you will note that all great athletes understand that they would not be where they are without the assistance and support of their coaches. And the same can be said for writers. Thus, this is why you should seriously consider working with a writer's mentor. Don't forget, mentors, coaches and leaders all act as guides. Their aim is to teach you what to do, what not to do, how to do it better and how to move forward. So if you have ever wondered, do I need a writing mentor? Well, here are a few questions to help you decide. Number one, remember and understand that there is always more to learn. You are never too old to learn something new, no matter what age you are. Number two, accept that you can't find all the information on your own, and sometimes you can't decipher it either. And number three, always be willing to accept guidance and learn from someone who is further along the writing journey than you are. So, keeping these reasons in mind, let's look at how you can work with a writing mentor, what exactly a writing mentor is, the benefits they bring, and lastly, how to find one. We'll start by defining why you might need a writing mentor. Having and accepting a writing mentor is much like accepting a driving instructor to teach you how to drive a motor vehicle. When you learn to drive, you are getting into the mindset of being the one in charge of a killing machine. Yes, you heard me correctly. A car weighs approximately between 2,500 and 6,000 pounds. It moves faster than a human can run. Therefore, unless you are taught to control it correctly, you are a danger to other road users and pedestrians alike. Hence, why we have driving tests and people who train the inexperienced to drive safely. Keeping this in mind, the same can be said about writing. Mentors coach writers because they have been there. They have done everything a new writer is excited to do and achieve. The mentor has experienced that claustrophobic feeling of being stuck at a certain level in their career, a failure, of rejection. Believe me, the list goes on. The difference between them and you is that they overcame with help. Mentors fully understand what a new and developing writer is going through because they've done it. It is irrelevant that they may have written in a different genre or for a different audience than you. The basics of all writing are still the same. And these are, you must have a good idea to write about. You need to be able to write the book professionally. Marketing is not only crucial, but the hardest thing to do. You have to learn how to reach your audience. In reality, this list could go on for pages as writing throws more and more at us as we learn. However, if you have the opportunity to learn from someone further along the career path, then you will experience many benefits. Okay, let's talk about some of the benefits available to you by working with a mentor. Understanding and accepting the many benefits that partnering with a professional in your field can bring you will soon make you accept how relevant it is to your future success to have a writing mentor. And this is regardless of where you are in the writing process. Number one, a writing mentor pushes you. Mentors, like coaches, are extremely helpful because they are often more aware of their mentee's limitations than the mentee is. When working with a mentor, you will find yourself covering more ground in less time, all due to their help. Number two, mentoring helps you create good habits. It is thought that many established authors write with ease, but like those writers first starting out, even these established writers can find it difficult to make, let alone keep good writing habits. So, if you are struggling in this area, then welcome to the world of the rest of us. In order to control this, we say having a writing mentor will help keep you on track. Number three, light up your blind spot. Writers' mentors are not emotionally involved in your writing. 
As such, they are able to see areas in your writing that require assistance, areas that you are perhaps unaware of, such as if you need it to make a character more realistic, or if writing a memoir, you should strengthen your voice. Whatever the need, your mentor is there to guide you. Number four, refines your voice. When we talk of voice, this is how the reader hears your words in their head. Well, a mentor can hear and see much more. They will see your unique writing voice from an outsider's perspective and will be able to teach you how to capitalise on it. Although they read as a reader when doing this, they are in fact using two heads, that of a reader but also that of a writer-mentor, which is something totally different. Number five, a mentor shares ideas and tips you may not find elsewhere. You could spend all day searching for tips to help you write when what you should be doing is writing. And to be honest, there are only so many tips that are directly relevant to you and your needs. Having a writing mentor often comes down to the personalised manner in which they coach and the advice and tips you will receive. Number six, helps your ability to find the right areas for growth. Because your mentor has walked in your shoes, they have a great vantage point that helps them to see not only your weaknesses, but your strengths and the areas where you can improve. If they compliment your writing or habits, then trust them as they mean it, so take their advice to heart. Number seven, they will know when it's time to stop writing. As a writing mentor, I have told my mentees many times when to take a break, for which they were grateful, as they would not have done so on their own. Taking a break from writing is important, especially when you feel that little gremlin writer's block, and yes, it does exist, trying to knock on your door. Sometimes having a mentor encouraging you to rest if only for a day or two, will do wonders for your morale and your writing. Number eight, always offers advice specific to your needs. Apart from recognising your ability, a mentor will give you feedback specific to you and your goals. Remember, what works for you may not work for another writer and vice versa. This is why I ask a lot of questions before becoming a writer mentor to a new writer. After all, I am playing with their dream, so I need to know what advice to give and why. Number nine, seeing the long game. Having become established in their career, mentors see twists and turns someone just starting out simply can't see. Listening to their advice, considering all facts if they say a specific career move may not be the best for you at this time. These are all important. They are more likely to understand the outcome than you might do. Number 10. Keeping you humble. A final reason for having a writing mentor is, believe it or not, just to keep you humble. Just because you achieve that monumental goal or hit a bestseller list, you will still be listening to your mentor giving you areas in which to improve. Strangely, This is one of the healthiest ways for you both to celebrate your success. After all, a truly successful person will always stay humble. Now, having got the reasons for having a writer's mentor, how do you find your best match? Now, I've inundated you with reasons as to why you should consider having a writing mentor. You could be wondering how to find one. Well, the simplest way is to do an internet search. This will reveal many options. You could join a successful author's writing guild or a private Facebook group or maybe hire a mentor for specific one-on-one help. There are many offering such services. The best is probably word of mouth, recommendations from other writers who have worked with mentors. However, apart from having a one-on-one mentor, you could look for other alternatives such as writing groups. There are many writing groups that offer mentoring, in addition to classes, for a trial period. Depending on the genre you write, how you want to publish, and or your specific needs, you could reach out to a group and try it. If not happy, then you move on. Work with a successful author, 
While this method can be a little less conventional, approaching an established author can also be a great way to receive mentoring. Some authors will list the types of services on their website that include coaching and mentoring for newer authors. You could reach out, mentioning that you're looking for something more long-term. Also, just so you don't overly commit yourself, ask if they would consider a trial period. So now that you understand why having a writing mentor can be beneficial, what comes next? I appreciate that reaching out to mentors can be intimidating, but be assured when I say they really have been where you are. I know, I am one. It is readily accepted that established authors want to help newer authors succeed, so they are rooting for you. Dare to reach out, be respectful yet bold, and then wait for an answer. And remember, anything worth trying is usually worth failing at in the beginning. It may take several tries to find the best mentor for you, but in the end, it will be worth it. And don't forget, you will experience a lot of rejections and failures during your writing career, so don't feel dejected if you get a no. Just keep trying. After all, trial and error is the name of the game when it comes to creativity. Give it your best shot and see what happens. If you need help with any aspect of your writing, are interested in the other services we offer, or would like to chat with a mentor, then please check out our website. Or why not email us, contact at mentoringwriters.co.uk, and we will endeavour to assist you in your writing journey. All the best with your writing. This was Anne Brady bringing you a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Thank you for listening, and we hope you will join us again. <laughs>